We are getting word this afternoon of the dramatic rescue of a 17-year-old skier. He survived two freezing nights alone on a mountain in Maine. The high school senior reportedly built a snow cave for shelter against blistering winds. And as ABC's John Muller shows us, he says he learned his survival skills by watching reality TV. Nicholas Joy's family understandably filled with joy this morning. He just said, I can't, I'm so glad to see you. And I said the same thing, so glad to see you. The 17-year-old seen here eating a granola bar just moments after he was rescued Tuesday survived a two-day ordeal, stranded in the bone-chilling cold and snow on Maine's Sugarloaf Mountain. Well, I've been praying that he could pull himself down someplace, somebody get him. Oh, thank God he's alive. It all started when Joy got separated from his father while skiing Sunday afternoon. Blinded by blowing snow and strong winds, Joy says he kicked into survival mode, building this cave in the snow and blanketing himself with twigs and leaves. During the day, he drank water from nearby streams and followed the faint remnants of snowshoe tracks to the road where he was eventually found by this man. I can't believe I actually found him. Firefighter Joel Paul hopped on his snowmobile after hearing about the nearly 100 searchers looking for joy. I thought, like most everybody, he probably got hurt, you know, and, you know, broke a leg or something like that. He was cold, um, but for being in the woods for two days, he was in great shape. And if this whole scenario sounds like an episode of Man vs. Wild, in a way, it was. This is gonna be a good place to dig a snow hole! It turns out Joy is a big fan of the reality show and reportedly channeled his inner Bear grills to survive his ordeal. Oh my God, happy, happy ending, yep. He's doing really good. There you go, see, it doesn't just rot your brain. That was John Muller reporting. We're being told this afternoon the first thing that Nicholas asked for when he was rescued, a cheeseburger. I don't blame him. Well, the